contest. And very similar across the board, both fighters, 20 cents, Kasanganai and Inch Tula. But, but for the next match tonight, three rounds, this in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, a freestyle fighter standing 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in officially 185 and 1 half pounds. His professional record stands at 10 victories and 3 defeats. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA, here is Joaquin Numenza Buckley! And across the octagon, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This mixed martial artist stands 5 feet 11 inches tall. He too weighed in officially 185 and 1 half pounds. And in eight professional fights, he is perfect with eight victories and no defeats. Fighting out of Gastonia, North Carolina, USA, here is Impa Chilobo Kasanganai. And your referee in charge of the action is Kevin Sataki. Very much looking forward to this middleweight contest here from Fight Island. Thank you very much, Camila. Round number well, one ahead. That's Joaquin Buckley against Impa Kasanganai. Kasanganai in the blue, Buckley in the black. Do not blink. Buckley comes with some serious heat. Very close, oh. man. Clipped him with a short left hook right there. Kasanganai did. Yep. Kasanganai's got to be. No, he knows that, right? He, you've seen any table. Oh. 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 But he's backed up early. Oh. Here comes Buckley. Big power early on. Kasanganai trying to clinch him up here, recover. But now Buckley's pressing him up against the fence, man. These guys are coming out hot in this fight. Man, Buckley's a wrecking ball. That's how he fights. Every time you see this young man fight, he comes out and he throws heat to take your head off. Kevin Holland so experienced when they met that he was able to deal with that, but he is seriously seasoned. This time, however, Buckley really just wants to show his full skill set. He believes he's got way more experience in the MMA game than what Kasanganai does, and he wants that to show tonight. Kasanganai keeping that chin tucked deep. Yes. He's now, not trying now he's aware. Right. He's felt the power. He's going to try and come with that left. Oh, that was a slapping kick to the inside thigh. These guys very the different in personality. Quite interesting that Buckley tagged him on Instagram saying, see you soon, and got like the nicest well wish <laughs> for the, the safety of him and his team on their way over to Fight Island. And you can tell Buckley's the kind of guy that prods all of his opponents. He did it with Abu oh. Azaitar, who he was supposed to fight first and foremost here on Fight Island. But Kasanganai is just not that kind of guy. No, not going to engage in that. This is not his personality. If you sit down for two seconds to talk to Kasanganai, yeah. you realize it's just not how he is. He actually put out a quote saying, he who works with his hands and his head and his heart is an artist. And he's looking to put together some artistry tonight. Ooh! Looking for that knee up the middle, and Buckley counters with some big hooks. There's some redness to the eye of Kasanganai, to the left eye, and it looks like the right of the eye bloodshot as well. He's behind that leg. He gave it up. Nice trip, takedown, nice inside trip. As you said, Paul, in the walkouts, Buckley here without his corner. He's had to rustled together well, a, couple was a, of, elbow. a couple of guys to help nice him out. Nice work from the top. Yeah, I was talking to Brian Butler, his manager, my manager as well, and I was asking, you know, just trying to get some more info on this young guy, and Foley called one of his fights, and he said, yeah, yet again, unfortunately for him, was unable to get his coaches from home over here due to passport issues. Doesn't seem to matter. The hard work's oh. already been done in camp, and he is executing whatever they laid out pretty well so far. Good work getting back to his feet, Kasanganai. He looked dazed for a moment. Oh, oh that hurts. Out. Oh, it was. Uh, All right. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, I didn't think that yeah. was yeah. Right I think that hurt him. I think that caught him clean on the chin. It rocked him for a moment. That's why he started to move backwards away from his mouth guard. Is it me or does Kasanganai's kicks look like they come a little slower, but they just look so much heavier? Oh, look at the size of his legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is definitely some damage to the left eye of Kasanganai. I've just seen on the replay, it was from an uppercut from Buckley. One of the very first closing punches that he landed came right up underneath the eye socket of Kasanganai. Oh, that was a nice snapping right hand. Yeah, but he admired his work a little bit there. And Buckley oh, oh, that knee again. That, 
that needs some turn on it, that kick. It's coming very, very direct up the centre line. Unless it, oh, oh, that's a good, good right hand. Straight left, sorry. My left and right, I'm terrible with it. <laughs> what you a chin. speak Latin, but don't, you, know, you don't know your left from your right, <laughs> What a chin that Kasangani is displaying already. And maybe the fact that he hasn't had so many years in mixed martial arts. He's still he's kept that intact. Yeah, I would say this is definitely the most it is getting tested. Checked. It's been tested tonight. He is crashing forward. And Buckley is the kind of guy who sleeps dudes as well. Yes. That counter right hook he's looking to land on, Kasanganai is going to be a problem, especially if there is damage to that eye. And it seems like Buckley, right, the way he fights, he's one of the, ooh, that was a nice inside kick. But it seems like with his style, he'd gas out immediately. But it's not the case. He seems to control himself pretty well. I mean, we're nearing the very end of this first round, and he seems fine. And there's been some crazy exchanges. Yeah, there are. Oh, that yeah, was a beautiful. powerful high kick. Our first look at him was against Kevin Holland, and he didn't have the camp. It was short notice. He said he had no plan. For this one, they do have a plan, and he is being more strategic. Last few seconds in this opening stanza. Very entertaining fight in the middleweight division. Back after these. The five fight main card rolls on next on ESPN Plus. Don't blink in the main event as dynamic finisher Marlon Moraes squares off with a well-rounded Corey Sandhagen. All of tonight's octagon action right here on ESPN Plus. Hope I can get this out. Favorite line of the night. We're not the dog. Let's walk the dog. That's the message from Kasanganai's corner. Yeah, I like that. That's really nice. It's really nice. Obviously, he is falling into the game of Buckley in their view. It is time for him to lead the dance. Let's see how he responds. He's still waiting, though. He's still waiting to try and counter Buckley as he comes in. And you're always going to meet force if you're standing in the pocket. Kasanga Knight shifts his head when he's not doing anything. But as soon as the trade starts, his head becomes quite stationary. That was a good inside low kick. Yeah, it's bouncing off the shin, too, but it still seems to be bothering him every time it lands. <laughs> Buckley starting to talk in there a little yeah. bit. I mean, Buckley looks like a seasoned boxer, the way that he approaches, comes in, bobbing, weight shifting. Really nice hands. Watch those knees, gentlemen. Yeah, I, th I think you're going to get a cup check in a minute, Felder. I, I mean, I got my pen ready. <laughs> he keeps coming up the center line with what looks like a front kick to the midsection, but it's... Yeah, they just got warned to yeah. watch their knees. That was a nice kick across the, uh, across the body from Buckley. Sang and I kind of struggling to find his way in here. He's waiting a little too much. That was a nice knee. Dislodged the mouthpiece a little of uh, Buckley. A welcome addition to the Kasunganai gym has been former middleweight champ Chris Weidman. Oh! Woo. Man! Damn. Yeah, having a former champion on the mat is going to be very valuable indeed. Of course, Brian Barbarina, who's with him tonight. Lots of experience. They are so even on total strikes at the moment. Jump, spinning, back kick. And he's up already. It's good to see that Kasangana is already responsive because that was about as clean of a spinning back kick to the jaw as you can get. Let's take another look at this. Impa Kasangana catches this kick. Let's take a look. Boom. Perfect. Catches the kick. The problem with that is, oh, my Beautiful. God. You've got to be kidding me. Beautiful. That's a, that's a take one, no move all day. Yes. Foot on the body pad. Boom. Back to the through. face. Very slick. I mean, let's take a look in real time here. <laughs> How many performance bonuses is he going to Give him $100,000. Oh Dana, give him $100,000. That is a straight up Taekwondo jump spin right. back kick. That is speed. knockout of the year contender right there. We'll be back to give him his moment after these.